side of this in whatever way works for you. That's not spooky. In whatever way works for you, it's okay to giggle and smile while you listen, is to get some sense of whatever that outcome is that you've been invited to find something to work on. Whether it's a feeling that you occasionally get and you don't want it, or whether it's something you're aspiring or moving towards and you haven't got it yet there. So while you do that, and allow your peripheral vision to take over, as you look at that spot, and keep breathing, aware that there's things going on outside and inside. To allow that part of you that can listen to the cock crow. And can with intention allow something to come from your unconscious or your soul body or your wisdom body or the universe. That can be a helper of some form of energy that's going to be useful. And while you do without really trying but allowing the sounds outside the blooming flowers and scents that are inside this room aware of your own body aware of anywhere feel tension in a muscle and I feel a relaxation and notice the difference you can move or you can stay still you don't have to rush in while you listen can see other people in this room and they can see other people in this room and going into a trance and you can hear that duck outside it can be a process of step by step and small adjustment to the clarity of your attention as you continue to look because at any time you can close your eyes but you don't have to but that's a different trance that you can comfortably choice enter because you've done the preparation and it really is quite safe because you've been here and there before you know it's like saying come on in the water's lovely and at the deep end the shallow end to sit on the side for a bit till you want to come in and many people really enjoy the water that can vary in temperature support you and gentle currents and waves can wash over through a person and some people like to dive and I don't know if you've done diving or know about 
but it can be particularly opening experience because of the right equipment oh, it can be really simple people dive with buddies to look out for each other keep each other safe and it's really interesting in a dive while you listen with your feet on the floor. Some eyes open, some eyes closed. You can, going under water, control your death with your breathing. You can hold your breath and level out or allow yourself to sink as much as is right for you or just as easily rise to come up because diving So the depth gauge, you can measure how you go down, head first, feet first, simply have that weightless feeling. And underneath, inside the water, it's a very different world. As pescatarians, that's it. Turtles, fish. And if you go down deep enough, there's a seabed. It might be sand, it might be rock. But inside the water, where life really starts. can be both safe and terrifying. It can be rough and comfortable. And there's so many old stories about the monsters of the deep. Because at one time, long ago when people sailed in little boats, you really didn't know what was down below. And the imagination of women and men created myths and stories. But there's also when one is underwater in comfort, a sense of bliss a return to the womb where you used to breathe water without any scuba gear. There's something about the way water can shift form flow from one space while you're breathing and aware to another place effortlessly and up top above the reflective sky are those great water dense forms that blow through the blue above and below. And as you allow yourself to make use of any can make use of from the 
precious silken treasure ships, of riches that are usually out of reach and become accessible within your reach. And those treasures and gifts <coughs> bless you inside. You can relax as much or as little as is right for you can become aware of the currents of your own body, the beat of your own heart, the connection to witness your own thoughts and change nothing. Just simply be to drift and stay still, to be deaf while you listen, to know you're standing while you sit. As you can set a specific injunction now and make the invite of your own sophisticated intelligence and one that's really beyond words. Find a place, your attention inside, discovering a center yourself of absolute stillness, absolute peace, quiet. aware of the outside world and aware of that inner place, a deeper connection to the archetypes, the realms of power gods and goddesses that you can still connect from your centered place of absolute stillness, absolute silence. Generally recommend as I say, discover what's in those depths a potential trip into schizophrenia, but not the paranoid type, the one where. You go all the way inside. You can choose to drift inside, to connect with. 
with a real source that's never born, never dies. To explore an initiation, a separation from the conscious, and then finally a return, bearing gifts and boons from that journey would be fraught with danger, your own demons, dragons waiting for you, your own angels and helpers, there's various kinds of diving, a particularly nice but potentially very dangerous dive is drift diving, where you willingly Expose yourself to a fast moving current. Once you go in, you only come out the other side. That kind of current needs to be righted. The divers let out a boy plates up with air and that drifts along on the surface. So the people that are watching you can see by way of a balloon where you're going. But in that underwater current you go with Futile to fight against it. It's too strong. That kind of direction is irresistible. And it is fraught with danger. It is exhilarating. a little balloon on the surface is all that others can see you by. There's terrific energy, sand, spaces to be had beneath. To go as deep as you dare while our little balloon bobs and floats. Sometimes it even gets dragged beneath because the current's so strong. A drift dive could take minutes, quarters of an hour. Some of them all interesting experiences is underneath where divers shoot through underwater caves in absolute darkness unless you thought you are the light inside to topple and turn Sometimes there's other things that are met deep below. And under water, sounds are different. Noise is very different. Body feels very different. You can be aware of your heart beating, the 
drummer or patter the boom, boom, boom of your heart beating. And the drums, the drums in the deep are one of the ways the shamans used to exercise their power to beat their drum and command the spirits, the helpers, the devils and demons while you keep breathing, adjusting and listening on the inside. shaman when calling a spirit would beat that drum and it's the shamans that have had that essential schizophrenia have gone deeply inside have opened to the cosmos, the universe, their gods have heard the words and sounds of the world and through a journey of death and rebirth have come back. And on the way back, you never know what kind of helper you can attract. Many have symbols of power, a metaphor, a wolf, a bear gods and goddesses, Christmas trees and baubles, a musical instrument. So, again, on the one hand, I'd like to very much invite you without effort, just intention, to get a body sense of what it is you want to change, to know whereabouts in the body you're most aware. allow that to develop is diverse at some point start the ascension to ascend a little bit more aware of the body your breathing listening to the sounds around and divers have a dive bag or inside might keep the little treasures that they bring back from their expedition as they ascend 
bless the gifts they've harvested from beneath. sinuses coming back. 